Welcome to the public scoping meeting for the Willamette Valley Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement, or SEIS for short. We're glad you're here because we need your help. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers owns and operates 13 dams in the Willamette Valley. These dams form a system that helps protect people, homes, businesses, and farms from floods. Flood risk reduction is our main mission, and it works. Every year, this system helps prevent more than a billion dollars in damage. But our dams do more than just manage floods. They also provide water for fish, help with water quality, supply water for people and farms, support recreation, and eight of our 13 dams produce hydropower. An Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, is required by a law called the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. The EIS is a big report that helps us understand how our actions could affect the environment, people, and communities. Our previous Willamette Valley EIS was from 1980, and since then, things have changed, including the list of endangered species. The Corps writes a supplemental EIS, or SEIS, when there are new things to study that weren't part of the original EIS. That's what we're doing now. We had already finished a six-year study for the Willamette Valley system, and we're wrapping up the EIS when two big things happened. First, Congress passed a law called the Water Resources Development Act of 2024, WERDA for short. It told us to look at a new option, removing hydropower as a function at the dams. That came late in our process, so we published what we already had for the EIS and created something called a Record of Decision that lets us keep operating the system while we work on this new study. Second, the National Marine Fishery Service published a biological opinion. That opinion told us to do a deeper fall drawdown at Detroit Reservoir to help protect endangered fish. But before we can do those drawdowns, we need to go through the NEPA process and make sure we're following environmental laws. That's why we're doing the supplemental EIS. It gives us the legal coverage we need to move forward and it gives you a chance to help us shape how those drawdowns are done, including things like when they happen and how long they last. This meeting is a part of a process called scoping. It's where we ask for your help. We want to hear what's important to you because we know these dams and reservoirs are a big part of your life in the Willamette Valley. You live here, you work here. You may see things we don't. That's why we need your input. Your comments can help us think about the impacts we might not have considered. In this SEIS, we're exploring two specific things. First, we're looking at an additional alternative that would remove hydropower as a function at some Willamette Valley dams. That means the dams would no longer produce electricity. Second, we're studying how we could do a deeper fall drawdown at Detroit Reservoir. A drawdown means lowering the water levels more than we do now mainly to help endangered fish survive and thrive. This SEIS will help us understand the effects these changes could have on you, the environment, and local communities. We also want to be clear about what this process doesn't include. We are not looking at removing the dams. We are not removing other authorized purposes like flood risk reduction, water supply, or recreation. We welcome your thoughts, and we'd like to hear how the drawdown at Detroit Reservoir or removing hydropower may affect you and your community. We also want to hear your suggestions about what we should study in this supplemental EIS. Your voice matters, and we're here to listen. You can share your ideas in writing, in person, or online. At this meeting, you can fill out a comment card to share your thoughts and ideas. You can also talk directly with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers experts who are here to answer your questions and hear your perspective. Thank you so much for being a part of this important conversation about the future of the Willamette Valley.